NASA's hypersonic comeback, flying faster than ever before. Humans have always possessed a natural drive to push the boundaries of what is possible, a quality that sets us apart from every other living being. The biggest example of this is that within a century of the first flight, humans were flying at speeds two times the speed of sound, an achievement that is a prime example of our relentless pursuit of innovation and progress. However, the dawn of the 21st century saw a huge setback in the quest for supersonic travel, and by the end of 2003, it was completely banned. But what was the real reason for such a ban? And what are the latest developments that could revive the dream of supersonic travel? Well, in this video, we will be having a look at NASA's hypersonic comeback, exploring how advancements in technology may soon allow us to fly faster than ever before. So make sure to stay tuned till the end because you won't want to miss any of it. In our fast-paced world, where time is of the essence and every second counts, the need for speed and transportation has never been more pressing. Whether it's for business or leisure, we all crave efficiency and convenience in our travels. But with current commercial air travel being limited by its speed, the journey from one destination to another often feels like a tedious ordeal, filled with long hours spent in cramped seats and endless layovers. This is where the concept of hypersonic flight comes into play. Imagine being able to reach your destination in a fraction of the time it currently takes, with flights that can travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound. Hypersonic flight promises to revolutionize air travel as we know it, offering unparalleled speed and efficiency that could drastically reduce travel times and increase connectivity between cities and continents. With hypersonic flight, crossing the Atlantic could take mere hours instead of days, opening up a world of possibilities for business, tourism, and exploration. The concept of supersonic flight was first realized with the introduction of the Concorde, a marvel of engineering and a symbol of technological prowess. This icon aircraft, capable of flying at twice the speed of sound, captured the imagination of the world with its sleek design and unparalleled speed. With its debut in the late 1960s, the Concorde revolutionized air travel, offering passengers the opportunity to cross the Atlantic Ocean in a mere three and a half hours. However, despite its initial success and popularity, the Concorde faced numerous challenges throughout its operational lifespan. One of the primary limitations of supersonic flight was the issue of sonic booms which caused disruptions and discomfort for those on the ground below. Regulatory restrictions also posed significant obstacles, with the FAA banning supersonic flights over land due to the noise pollution caused by sonic booms. Despite these challenges, the Concorde continued to operate for several decades, but its retirement in 2003 marked the end of an era in supersonic aviation. The Concorde's demise pointed out a lot of challenges inherent in supersonic flight highlighting the need for innovative solutions to overcome these barriers and usher in a new era of faster-than-sound travel. To address these problems, NASA, with the help of Lockheed Martin, is working on building the next generation of hypersonic planes, which once again allow us to travel faster than sound. Through extensive research and innovation, NASA aims to overcome the challenges that have hindered supersonic flight in the past, paving the way for a new era of high-speed transportation. Central to NASA's hypersonic research efforts is the X-59 Quest project, a cutting-edge experimental aircraft designed to demonstrate the feasibility of low-boom supersonic flight. With its sleek design and innovative technologies, the X-59 Quest represents a significant step forward in NASA's quest for quieter and more sustainable hypersonic travel. Additionally, NASA has been exploring other experimental aircraft concepts leveraging advanced aerodynamics and propulsion systems to push the boundaries of hypersonic flight. These projects highlight NASA's commitment to pushing the limits of what is possible in aviation and shaping the future of air transportation. As NASA continues to advance its hypersonic research initiatives, the potential benefits for society are immense, offering the promise of reduced travel times, increased connectivity, and enhance accessibility to destinations around the globe. The technical issues faced by the Concorde, particularly 
the disruptive sonic boom, have long plagued efforts to advance supersonic flight. However, NASA is at the forefront of pushing the boundaries of engineering to overcome these challenges and pave the way for a new era of hypersonic travel. One key focus of NASA's efforts is to mitigate the impact of sonic booms through innovative design and engineering solutions. For instance, NASA's X-59 Quest project incorporates a unique shaping of the aircraft structure to minimize the intensity of sonic booms generated during flight. By carefully shaping the aircraft's nose and wings, NASA engineers aim to redistribute and dampen the shock waves produced, thereby reducing the sonic boom to a level that is barely perceptible on the ground. Additionally, NASA is leveraging advanced computational modeling and simulation techniques to predict and optimize the aerodynamic performance of hypersonic vehicles, allowing for more precise control over shock wave formation and propagation. Furthermore, NASA is exploring novel materials and construction techniques to enhance the structural integrity and thermal management of hypersonic aircraft, ensuring they can withstand the extreme conditions encountered during high-speed flight. Through these innovative approaches, and relentless dedication to pushing the boundaries of aerospace engineering, NASA is pioneering new solutions to overcome the technical challenges associated with hypersonic flight and bring us closer to realizing the promise of faster-than-sound travel. In the development phase, Lockheed Martin secured a preliminary design contract in February 2016, embarking on wind tunnel tests for the low-boom X-plane from Mach 0.3 to Mach 1.6. Subsequently, NASA awarded Lockheed a $247.5 million contract in April 2018, with wind tunnel testing completed by October of that year, assessing stability, control, and flow visualization. Following constructive feedback sessions in November 2018 and the commencement of construction in May 2019, a successful critical design review was conducted in September 2019 setting the stage for wing assembly completion in 2020. As for the design, the X-59 Quest, boasting a 99.7 foot length and 29.5 foot wingspan, incorporates a General Electric F414 engine for speeds up to Mach 1.5. Noteworthy features include its narrow airframe, canards, and top-mounted intake which mitigate noise levels. Additionally, the cockpit, ejection seat, and canopy draw from a Northrop T-38, while the landing gear is sourced from F-16. To address visibility concerns, an enhanced flight vision system and Collins Aerospace's ProLine Fusion cockpit avionics were integrated, offering a forward view and boom display, respectively. These design elements collectively signify a pioneering effort to redefine supersonic travel promising reduced noise levels and opening avenues for commercial supersonic flight. While current hypersonic flight prototypes are still undergoing testing and are not yet available for commercial use, the potential economic opportunities associated with this groundbreaking technology are immense. One of the most significant benefits lies in job creation across various sectors, including aerospace engineering, manufacturing, and aviation services. As hypersonic flight becomes a reality, the demand for skilled professionals to design, build, and maintain these advanced aircraft will surge, leading to job growth and economic prosperity in communities around the world. Moreover, the widespread adoption of hypersonic travel has the potential to revolutionize industries such as tourism, logistics, and emergency response. With travel times drastically reduced, tourism could experience a renaissance as destinations once considered distant become easily accessible. Similarly, the logistic industry stands to benefit from expedited transportation of goods and supply, leading to greater efficiency and cost savings. In emergency response scenarios, the ability to rapidly deploy personnel and resources to affected areas could save countless lives and mitigate the impact of disasters. Overall, hypersonic flight represents not only a technological leap forward, but a catalyst for economic growth and innovation across multiple sectors, unlocking new opportunities and transforming the way we live, work, and travel. NASA's vision for the future of hypersonic flight is ambitious and promising. Building on the groundbreaking research and development efforts of projects like the X-59 Quest, NASA aims to revolutionize global travel and transportation 
by ushering in a new era of supersonic and hypersonic flight. While specific timelines for commercialization may vary, NASA remains committed to overcoming technical challenges and regulatory hurdles to make hypersonic travel a reality in the not-too-distant future. The implications of hypersonic flight for global travel and transportation are profound, offering the potential to shrink distances and connect people and communities like never before. What are your views on this? Do you think we might be seeing commercial hypersonic flights anytime soon? Or it might still be very early for it to be a reality? Let us know in the comments below. Do like and subscribe for more content like this. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next one.